Okay. First, I would like to start off by saying, Brakothi Yahawah, Brakothi Yahawah Shai, Brakothi Yahawah, Brakothi Yahawah Shai, Brakothi Yahawah, Brakothi Yahawah Shai, Kal Halal Yahawah, Basham Yahushai, Basham Rikar Kodash. We give double honors to our beloved teachers of Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to our sincere brothers, pushing his true doctrine throughout the four corners of the earth, risking their lives week in and week out to feed the lost sheep of Israel. Shalom to the 144 governing body of men. Shalom to the hopeful elect. One third of men, women and children. All the praises, all the glory, all our strength, all our exaltation goes to Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai. Aman, so be true. We are at the end. We are at the end. There is so much things happening. Yeah? There's so much. About six, seven years ago, we thought that Brexit was bad. We thought from Brexit, all hell is going to break loose. But you know, we have seen worse. We've seen more worse than that. When we had a pandemic, right? We thought that was it too. I tell you what, even before that, I remember um, uh, about three o'clock in the morning, I was up and we had the, um, the fire, the Grenfell, the, the Grenfell Tower. The fire, is it Grenfell Tower? Yes. That fire, I was up watching that live and I said, yes, this is it. But we've had worse times. All right? But it's like, it's like, yeah, you have something happen and then six or seven months later or a year later, you have something else. Right? And then, Four months later, a minor thing happened. But listen now, this just proves that we're at the end because everything is happening at one stage. You might have a gap for about a month. As long as a month, maybe even less than a month, there always something happen. Always there is something happening. But remember, everything is, a, is for an appointed time. And Yahawashai is coming back. We look forward for Yahawashai's return. We hasten in that time. We know it's going to be evil times, but Lord willing, we just have to trust in our Heavenly Father. Trust. Lord willing. And I tell you what, Sometimes, most of the times you're down in the spirit and when you watch the apostles, you watch brothers' videos, it just brings you back up again. It brings you right back. We all go into this fire. We all go through this fire. Yeah? But we know that we are at the end because there's so many things happening. Blackouts, power cuts, right? I heard, I saw something this morning about Elon Musk, something to do with his platform. Oh, I can't remember. Yeah, that just went through. Something happened, right? Then I heard some news that all the train stations have closed just in time. And you know? look at the time where it's, they're having closures, train closures, right? The, the hospitals, they're going in another big strike again. And this one is worse before the Christmas. This little evil holiday, little stupid holiday, Esau's high holy day. There's so much happening at one stage. Like I said before, you, you had a little thing here and there, you're eight months down the line and then a year, year, year and a half later. But now it's like day by day. And this is the sign. This is a sure sign that Yahushai HaMashiach is on his way. Right? 
our deliverer, our savior, our redeemer is on his way. Deliverance is soon. Yahawashai is coming back. Yahawashai is on his way. We are at the end. Let me start with this, Lord willing. Revelations 21 verse 2. And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from God, out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. The elect are known as the bride, right? And Yahushai is known as the bridegroom. He's the husband. Lord willing that we are of the elect. Lord willing that we are a part of that deliverance. Yahushai is coming back for his bride. And we have to try to make it right as possible through the spirit of Yahweh Basham Yahushai. All right? So listen, I tell you what, yesterday, right? This I remember this song by um it was done in 1982 by Larry Graham. All right? Larry Graham. And he sang this song, Sooner or Later. That's the name of the song, Sooner or Later. And he says, Girl, I'm going to make you mine. Yeah? Sooner or later. Girl, I'm going to make you mine. We are the bride. We are the we are the we are the bridegroom. We are the we are the bride. And Yahushai is the bridegroom. So Yahushai, you don't think he wants to come back for his possession? Don't you think Yahushai wants to come back for his prize? Yeah. He wants to come back. He's eager to come back. Yahushai Hamashiach is ready and waiting to go. Yeah, let's go, let's go. Yahushai is ready. We are at the end, brothers and sisters. We are at the end. Okay? We are at the end, end, end. And as Elder Apostle Gabar said, it already started from when Yahushai um, was here um, 2,000 years ago, right? We're at the end now, the end of the end. Like I said again, we thought that other things were bad, but now it's really bad. Brothers are getting more sick. Brothers are getting more um, heavy in the spirit, right? And we know this is a demonic um, season anyway, so they're going to, you know, these times are, are evil anyway. This is bad times. We're living in bad times. Yeah? But remember, Lord willing, keep on praying that scripture says um, um, sooner than we believed. Yeah? Sooner than we believed. So back to that song there, Larry Graham. Sooner or later, girl, I'm going to make you mine. It's a must. Yahushai is coming back for his bride. Right? Revelations 21 verse 2. And I, John, saw the holy city of Jerusalem coming down from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned. Adorned for who? Her husband. This is why we have to try to get it right. We have to try to make our garments as clean as possible. White. For Yahushai's return. Are we perfect? No, we're not perfect. But we have to just try to be as perfect as possible. Yeah? To sin less. So that was in that was Revelation. Let's go to <coughs> let's go to Matthew 13, verse 16. But blessed are your eyes, for they see, and your ears, for they hear. For verily, which is truly, I say unto you, that many prophets and righteous men, can you imagine 
prophets and righteous men in her. There's reincarnation because the prophets that were here before time are the prophets are back here now. Yeah? Starting from the elder apostle to how I come down. Good? So from a for, before a, a far, for, before time, they were all the prof, prophets because it's reincarnation. Right? Righteous men have desired to see those things which ye see and have not seen them and to hear those things which ye hear and have not heard them. So listen to this now. Go back to the top again. But blessed are your eyes for they see and your ears for they hear. I'm going to back the top with this scripture here. Daniel 12 verse 4. But though, O Daniel, shut up the words and seal a book, even to the, the even to the time of the end, we are at the end now. Many shall run to and fro, and what knowledge shall be increased? All right. So back then, those prophets, those righteous men, had had the knowledge, had the wisdom, but because of time has increased. Knowledge has increased. Wisdom, knowledge, and understanding has increased. Visions have increased. Yes? Back then, they wasn't talking about the RFID chip. But now we're talking about the RFID chip. Through what? The wise men of the Lord. The prophets. Because they are seeing more. They are hearing more. The prophecies are being more unfolding right before your eyes that's how we know that we're at the end there's so much things happening there's so much happening and you know what although we don't know where we stand okay we pray that we have the elect but we i just want to see the power of the lord our heavenly father the power of yahweh basham yashai we all want to see the miracles. We all want to see the divine intervention. We all want to see the, 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 the spiritual powers. That must be a sight to see. Brothers walking through walls. Brothers running. Without getting tired. Things are going to change. All right? The women are going to start to humble themselves more. All right. I was watching the beloved brother. Is it Shalom Israel? Seven seven. Forgive me if I said it wrong. Shalom Israel. Oh man, he did a video. I think it was this morning. This would make you vomit. Right? He was talking about um how little Wayne, this woman was married or something. You check it out, Baba Kusha. It made I feel like vomiting. And he said that she's going to be there for him at all times if she's in a bed with her husband and the phone rings. And that's all wickedness because she's committing adultery. All right? And him, he's committing adultery also. Right? Well, it goes deeper than that, right? But she has a man, right? But she used to deal with him. So I don't know exactly how it went. She could have dealt with him, little Wayne, before she got married to another man. So obviously she committed adultery anyway. Right? But the fact is, the mere fact that being married to this other man, right? But well, we know firstly that, that marriage is the first man you lay with. That is that, that is true marriage. It's not done walking down the aisle, right, with a white dress on, and you're nasty as hell. Right? You've been popped by how much men? You've done all kinds of wickedness. Right? And you think you're holy walking down the aisle. All that is um, folly. Right? But that's why, you know, we have to be born again. We all have to be born again. So we know better through the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yashai, and we remain to try to do the best of our ability through the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yashai. Right? That's to be born again. All right? So yeah, we all do things. We beg our Heavenly Father for, for forgiveness. Right? And we have to start over again. And Lord, we're not to do it again. Right? So going back to this woman. Right? She was married. And she, she blatantly said it. 
And she told these men that, listen, you have to love it, take it all, leave it all, lump it. Oh, I, I felt like throwing up. But the men was accepting it. So she's lying in her bed and the phone ring four o'clock in the morning because he wants, little Wayne wants to see her. And he, she said that she'll go away for three or four days missing. And that husband there has to take it. What kind of life is that to live? What kind of life is that to live? We need Yahweh Shai. Right? Wow. I've lost my train of thought now. I don't know where I was, you know. Yeah, you know, but that that was just is that that oh I tell you. You could see sometimes men right back in the time you know because a woman is your possession all right and you know it, people can't joke around you know you know you cannot joke around with, with a man's possession all right so listen daniel 12 verse 4 but though old daniel shut up the book, words and seal the book Right, this is it. Even to the time of the end, many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. All right. Okay, I'm bringing it back now. You see, knowledge shall be increased. We're talking about the RFID chip, the mark of the beast, the major prophecy. Right, and it's only GMS talk about that. No, the no, the camps talk about that. Push this, this major prophecy that's coming. None. Right? If they do, they might just skim over it. But GMS goes into the depth. Listen, they go from back to front, up and down, every corner you can talk about when it comes to that, the mark of the beast. Every side. That's why there's no excuses that you've never heard or you don't know the explanation. Then I, Daniel, looked and behold, there stood other two, other two, the one on his this side of the bank of the river and the other on that side of the bank of the river and said, and one said to the man clothed in linen, which was upon the waters of the river, how long shall it be to the end of those wonders? How long? So the prophets back then, you know, they were, they were, they always wanted to know how long, Lord, how long? But now that prophecies are being revealed, it's getting closer and closer, the signs, right? You know, the scriptures, you know, you hypocrites, you could discern the time of a, the, the, the weather and you could discern this or the season, but you cannot, dis, you cannot discern the time of the Lord. And you could see that things are getting worse, worse and worse. And it only can get worse. Because remember, it says, through much tribulation, right? Through much tribulation. So in the meantime, this is the job of the prophets. This is the job of the prophets. Son of man, Ezekiel 3, verse 17. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word at the mouth of my mouth and give them warning from me because who yahweh is coming back you know that is a dreadful power coming back as elder apostle around said earlier he said that you know <laughs> we must be facing do not do not fear do not fear right do not fear that's the lord willing if we have the elect the lord the lord put the spirit on the elect to to, to um fear the man that can kill the body and soul Right? This is why it's all about the elect. Because it's all about Yahweh Shai coming back. That's what we must fear. All right? The fear, the coming of the, the, the judgment, the day of the Lord. Because in that time, everybody's going to be afraid. Even though to the elect, they're going to be, you know, on the edge. Lord, Lord, please save me, save me. All right? That's why it says that he that endureth to the end. And give them warning of me, from me. When I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die, 
and thou givest him not warning, nor speakest to warn the wicked from his wicked way to save his life, the same wicked man shall die in his iniquity, but his blood will require at thine hand. And this is why we try our best. We try our best. Look how long our apostles have been laboring. 40 plus years, 30 plus years, you know. Elder Apostle Gabar, Elder Apostle Tahar, 40 something years or 40, you know. It don't matter, you know how long it's 40 years. And they've been warning, let them know they're warning the people. Okay? Warning. And then we are trying to, 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 to do the same thing also. All right? We are trying our best. Because it's all about taking the blood off your own hands. Right? Because we have to try to cover ourselves at the same time, you know, and then it's, we have to try to warn people also. Because what? He says, um, uh, the, 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 the terror of the Lord, you persuade men. The terror of our Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai. We have to beg our Heavenly Father for more fear, to fear Him. All right? Yet, if thou warn the wicked, and he turn not from his wickedness, right? And this is what their prophets are doing, warning and warning and warning. This is why they want to try to cut down brothers' videos. They want to try to remove certain things. Or brothers do a video like about a year ago, two years ago, and they're clipping a video just recently. Because the news is precious. This word is precious. Yet if thou warn the wicked, and he turn not from his wickedness, nor from his wicked way, he shall die in his iniquity. Right? But thou hast delivered thy soul. The Lord has given you a pass. He goes, listen, you've warned him. You've warned him. You've, you've done your best to try to please me. You, you, you've done your best to the best of your ability to turn from your wicked ways. Right? And at the same time, you're warning the people. Warning. You're warning the people. And they don't want to listen. And the Lord says, you know what? You my humble servant you know you, the lord's gonna say it's it's a blessing with the lord says i'm well pleased that's the same way when the hour said to his beloved son right he said my beloved son whom i am well pleased it's what it's about we want your shy to be well pleased with us because when he's coming back right he's coming back for the for the for the for the bride He's come back for his possession. Lord willing, we are of the elect. Yes? So we are at the end. We are at the end. Right? We've got more things to go through, but we are at the end. We just have to continue to fight. We have to fight. It's not, listen, fight the good fight of faith. It's not easy. It's not easy. All right? But Lord willing, we remain faithful and true. Okay? Shalom.